This next video is about multiplying two radical expressions that have small numbers. What you're going to do is to multiply the number parts and multiply the variable parts together using the multiplication property of square roots. So, for example, to multiply the square root of 7t times the square root 14t squared, we're going to use the multiplication property of square roots to change the square root of 7t to the square root of 7. The square root of 7 times the square root of t. So we're going to change the square root of 14t squared to the square root of 14 times the square root of t squared. Now we're going to reorder this to the square root of 7 times 14 times the square root of t times t squared. Then we would multiply this out and do 7 times 14 and get the square root, the square root of 98 times the square root of t cubed. And finally we get the square root of 98 t cubed but we're not done. This now has to be simplified. Take a minute, copy this into your notes. From the last lesson we learned that we can break up the square root of 98 and the square root of t cubed. The square root of 98 can be solved with a perfect square by dividing it by 49. So we break it up into the square root of 49 and the square root of 2. The square root of 49 is 7, so we have 7 root 2. The, cube, the square root of t cubed needs to be broken up into an even power and a power that has an exponent of 1. The square root of t squared is gotten by dividing the index into the exponent and we get t to the first. And we're left with the square root of t under the radical. Now we're going to multiply these and get 7t times the square root of 2t. And that's the final answer. Copy this in your notes and pause the video. Let's try another one. You try 3 square root of 6 times the square root of 18. Pause the video and do this problem in your notes. So by multiplying these two radicals together, we get 3 times the square root of 6 times 18, or 3 square root of 108. Since the 3 is on the outside of the radical, it stays on the outside of the radical. Now we want to do, reduce the square root of 108. By using your perfect squares list, you can see that 108 is divisible by 36 three times. So we can rewrite this radical as the square root 36 times the square root of 3. Simplifying, we get 3 times 6 root 3. 3 times 6 is 18 root 3. And that's our final answer. Please pause the video and copy this in your notes.